Would you say one more time the part that you started with way back at the beginning about Adam taking the fruit? Oh, yeah. I know. Adam, I want you to say that one more time, please. The Bible says in Genesis 3, And so shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. That's a commandment. That's a priest. That's a set. Uh, that's Okay, well, God commanded the man. Uh, he said, Of every tree in the garden thou mayest freely eat. It didn't, he, God didn't just haphazardly say, You know what, you can have, you, whatever you want to eat. He commanded to eat of every tree of the garden. That was a positive commandment. Thou shalt eat, but thou shalt not eat of the tree of knowledge good and evil. It was a commandment to eat. What tree was included in that? The tree of life. Now we've studied the tree of life. What was the tree of life all about? To give them the wisdom and understanding to, you know, it wasn't about perpetuating life. They hadn't sinned. You know, there was no need to perpetuate their life because death doesn't come until sin, sin's entered the picture. They hadn't sinned. They were already eternal. Well, Eve ate the fruit. Now, Adam had to, he was in a pickle. He was commanded to eat the tree of life, but he couldn't do that because his bride wasn't with him. He couldn't take the dominion because he said, let them have dominion. He couldn't do it without eating. But he couldn't eat with, he couldn't bring Eve because she had sinned. So he did the only logical thing he could do. He claved to his wife, knowing that God would pr create a way to redeem them back to where they could both eat again together. Does that make sense? Because in the, in the place that he was with Eve falling, and, and, and here's the thing about it. Half of Philip Stansel can't do anything. What has God said about a man and a woman? They are one. Half of his being was fallen. fallen. So he had to cleave to his wife so that together they would be restored and redeemed to take the, the tree of life. One, you know what one of the overcomer's promises is in Revelation? He that overcometh I will grant to eat of the tree of life. That tree of life wasn't destroyed in the garden. It's still out there. And in a special way, it's this right here, right now. You but know, I believe it's a literal tree in, in, the, in the future kingdom. And we tend to think of people back then as being without education, without thought, without... We seem to think of them as dumb, or I do. Dumb is not the word, but you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, we have technology. We have all this advancement. And listen, God, Adam and Eve were created in the image. If, if no one is was as close to the image and likeness of God as Adam and Eve. Hmm. You know, all this stuff that human beings are doing here on this earth, God's up there saying, you think that's impressive? Oh, you built a submarine. I kept a man alive under the water for three days. Hmm. You know, I mean, God, you know, God's not impressed with what we're doing. He, he he kept a man alive for three days underwater, you know, thousands of years ago. <coughs> and we're just now coming up with a way to stay, mm. stay alive underwater. Where do you think they got that idea? So, I mean, God showed it to someone probably in that same story. Well, that's a good idea. Well's got air in this. We could build something that could produce air and go down. You see what I'm saying? Wasn't that Leonardo da Vinci's idea? He came up with half this stuff anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Let me pray for us. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the lesson this morning. Father, I pray that you would help us be students of the Word of God, that we'd study to show ourselves approved workmen that uh, rightly divide the Word of God and need not to be ashamed. Uh, just pray that you'd be with us as we go our different ways to Sunday school classes and places of ministry and pray that you bless the service ahead. Christ's name, amen. amen.